Hey folks, Shil Sullivan here. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be doing a cooking experiment with steak. Mmm, steak. One of my favorites. I've been seeing this sous vide technique of cooking online. It's called precision cooking. There's these like $150 devices that you cook in a water bath and I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do sous vide on the cheap. So what I've got here is just a pot of water set on my stove. I bought this cheapy digital thermometer at the grocery store. I'm shooting for a temperature between 129 degrees and 134 degrees. That will give me a nice medium rare steak temperature to cook the steak with. Now to get this temperature stable and accurate, I did have to do some experimenting with my stove, but I found that right here at about nine o'clock, it gives me a nice, consistent temperature. Now, since I'm not using the automatic device, I will have to babysit this a little bit. But the idea is that this meat is going to be cooked in a water bath at this temperature for 45 minutes to an hour. And it's going to come out perfect. But then we have to finish it. And how are we going to finish it? On my channel? With fire. <laughs> All right, I got my ingredients here for the perfect steak, all you need is salt and pepper and just a little bit of olive oil. Oh yeah, one other ingredient. Okay, now we're getting the chef seasoned. Time to get the steak seasoned. So I like a little generous portion of salt. Don't be stingy. It won't make it taste salty, I promise. Fresh ground black pepper. I like it kind of coarse. Be quite generous with that. Take the excess and make sure the sides are seasoned like this. So. Looks good. Ziploc storage bag. And she goes. I have uh, fresh rosemary. I'm gonna harvest some of my fresh rosemary. A couple sprigs will do. Just gonna lay that on each side. All right. Drizzle it with just a little bit of olive oil. Make sure we get both sides. Press it down, make sure we get that olive oil nice and coated there. And we'll press the air out like so. Kind of roll that excess air out. And there we go. Now this will go into the homemade sous vide water bath. See our temperature's at 130. It's holding consistency. It might drop a little bit when I drop this meat in, but it'll come right back. Now we'll occasionally need to stir this because the professional sous vide equipment actually has a heater and a circulator. So I'll just come by and stir this every few minutes and check to maintain the temperature between 129 degrees and 134 degrees. Uh, 45 minutes, an hour, even an hour and a half in, it should be perfect. We'll finish it once it's done coming up to the proper temperature. Okay, let's make a quick and easy side dish. Well, that's sous veiling, sous, sous veiling. Brussels sprouts, who didn't love Brussels sprouts? I should probably wash them.
cut all the Brussels sprouts in half. Half an onion diced in there with the Brussels sprouts. Olive oil, salt, pepper, 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 garlic powder. Sous vide at 128.5. I'm just going to bump this up a tiny bit. Some French bread. I love oil. I'm going to brush it down. Get it all slippery. Oily. Oh, yeah, baby. That makes the salt stick to it. Garlic powder. Oh, bam. Got my bread all wrapped up in here. That oven's on broil at the moment, so I'll put this on the bottom rack. The steak's been on there for just about an hour now in the precision bath of controlled temperature. But you know, it's pretty forgiving. And I got a couple other things going on. So I can leave this in here. It's fine. It's at 128.5. It'll be good. I'll give it maybe another you know, 10, 15 minutes as I'm getting some other stuff ready. And we're gonna try to make everything come together at the last moment. Kabam! So our bread's in the oven. Oh, it just reached broiling temperature. We're gonna be broiling these Brussels sprouts should take only like 10 minutes or so. And I've got the bread in the oven. The steak is waiting on me, not the other way around. So when that thing is ready, I can take it out and torch it, finish it up. But I want that to be on the plate, the very last thing. And that won't take long. Trust me, I've got some big fire ready to hit that steak with. All right, so our bread is in the oven there. It's been in for like five minutes. We got it on broil. We're gonna go ahead and pop in our Brussels sprouts. Pull that steak out. When the Brussels sprouts are getting close to being done, we'll take it outside and torch it. Cheers. Beautiful heirloom tomato. I got some spicy lime dressing. Just look at it. Oh. It's gonna be so good. We're gonna slice up this tomato and we're gonna drizzle it with some of this spicy lime dressing. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Oh, I got a bit of olive oil. We'll drizzle that on those tomatoes too. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. Woo. Oh, I steamed up my glasses too. <laughs> All right. It's gonna be good. All right, folks, we are gonna pull this steak out. We're gonna pat it dry. And we're gonna torch it. Doesn't look like much now. Ooh, I smell the rosemary. Oh. Feels like it's gonna be tender. I'm just gonna pat it dry a little bit. That'll help the crust build up very quickly. I just not, I'm not gonna super salt it like I did before. Just a real light sprinkling this time. Put some more pepper, because that's gonna make the crust 
beautiful. All right, let's take it outside and set it on fire. Will it firecracker? Steak, no, I'm just kidding. Steak versus propane torch. Steak, water, fire. Water, fire, cook steak. Make many good flavor. All right, guys, you know this is my favorite part, the high energy part. We're gonna plop this baby out on this grate. Mmm, mmm. We're gonna lick our fingers. We're gonna light it up. Let's do this. I made this torch for my propane forge. Let's take her inside and see what we got. It's looking pretty dang good if I say so myself. Oh yeah, the Brussels sprouts. And the bread. tomatoes with spicy lime sauce and a drizzle of olive oil salt just look at that that looks pretty good don't it hey mm -hmm. tomato lovers you know heirlooms are the best all right, here's the moment of truth. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. That's so tender. See how it's cooked medium from edge to edge. When you cook on a traditional fire, you get banding, which you get well done, and you only get this middle part that's of the color doneness you want, but now I've got band to band with a nice crust. Mm. Mm. That's very good. Very good technique. Mm. So good. I have someone here who wants a bite. 
You have to eat Brussels sprouts first. How are those? All right. Are they as good as mom's? No. Wait, mom, mom cooks them for longer. Mom cooks them for longer. Okay. Just a little bit raw. How about the meat? Mm -hmm. Mom cooks them longer. How about the steak? Fantastic. The hidden it? Mm -hmm. Everybody in my family likes steak the same way. Rare to medium rare. Mmm. Oh. My heirloom tomatoes. Mmm. Taste those tomatoes, Scott. I don't like tomatoes. Oh. Mmm. Those tomatoes have spicy lime sauce on it. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a salsa. You might like it. Mmm. I'm digging it. Crystal sprout. You did hit it with the torch, right? Mmm. Torch it. Thanks for watching. I put up a few other videos around here, one of which would be another cooking video, which did very well on my channel, by the way. So maybe I'll do some more because I'm a pretty damn good cook. Um, goodbye. I'm going to finish eating. Enjoy.